Hello, 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 and welcome to my first um, weekly roundup of the How's the Weather project. So this is going to be a video that I'm aiming to release each Wednesday that will cover the last week, last seven days roughly, of the project. You can see the video in the background. It will look slightly different to the short videos that you will have seen hopefully each day on Instagram, Facebook and also YouTube shorts. Um, they're done to be roughly a minute long so for these videos I have the raw footage of each piece which varies between five minutes and seven to eight minutes, depending on how long it took me to do each piece. As you can see, I've already done the first piece. This was the 1st of January piece. This also has the back of the piece that I actually write down the temperatures and the conditions on the day, and sometimes my own reflections on the weather. So yeah, that's basically what this series is going to be. I'll create it as a series on YouTube or a list on YouTube, playlist on YouTube. And it's going to kind of chronicle what I've learned in the last week. Um, so I came into this a little bit daunted, to be honest, and not, and I didn't really think anyone would care. Um, but over the first seven days, I racked up Round about 14,000 views of the reels on Facebook and about five to 600, I think, on YouTube. Maybe a bit more. I can't remember, actually. Um, so, yeah, which is absolutely amazing that you're all joining me on this journey. So, I suppose going to the journey, what I've learnt really is um, having insomnia and going to bed later really helps with this because I, on average, I'm creating the piece of art round about 11.30 to midnight. Oh, how can you do it based on the temperature on the day? I hear you cry. Um, I, I use what the recorded temperature as of that time according to the um, weather service is for that hour. It might not be exact. I've done this knowing that the figures that I'm using for the up-to-date day weather, or temperature rather, may change as according to the official figure, but official figures take months to come out. I'm using as up-to-date information as I have on the day, and I'm it's my own response to climate change and to the weather changing. Um, this week, I did not expect to have any green in my painting. I had a couple of days with green in there. Green is a temperature around about 12 degrees. I didn't think this early in the year we'd have that temperature. Looking at, and you can see on that picture there, 1985, the year I was born, was a cold year. The average temperature for Coventry, the mean temperature, has been significantly, through most of the week, colder than the temperature that we've seen. The world's warming up. There's not really much of an argument about that now. And doing the doing the piece each day, actually making note of the temperature each day and comparing it to a 30-year average, comparing it back to 1985 when I was born, it is stark how different it is, how different it feels. And seeing the red, the reason why I have the red as the, the temperature was hotter, and in some of these it looks like the earth or something is bleeding, that definitely signifies something. I really think it does. Um, the 
The other thing that I've learned is I really do like the colour palette that I've done, having the graduated colours from purples through to um, eventually red and pink on the hotter scale, which hopefully we're not going to see for a little while at least this year, um, has created some really amazing pieces of art. Considering the pieces are using pretty much the same colours pretty much each day, there's a little variation, but not too much. And the same technique, you'll see that I do the blowout fairly similarly each day. I do try to vary it occasionally. They've come out really different. They haven't come out the same at all, which I'm really impressed by. I really love. And... Yeah, that's just a just an observation on the art form that I've chosen to do. Um, for anyone that's watching and you want to do, join me on the journey of doing something each day, you don't have to use fluid art. All you have to do is pick, well, something that, mm, ten versions of something, so say ten shapes or ten colours, that you will use to signify the weather the temperature on that day and then stick to that through your journey so you could have 10 shapes and draw them on a piece of paper using felt tips that would be creating an artistic response to the changing climate, the climate change. um you can crochet you could knit you could just use the same colours on a single line if you wanted, be very minimalistic with it, it would be amazing. It would be amazing for you to join me in this journey. Um, I'm coming to the end, so thank you for listening, and I'll speak to you.